You're watching Suck Professor. It's me, Hank. And J That's no, James. James, yep. Alone in the Dark. Our playthrough. This is uh, episode two of our playthrough here. Oh, boy. James is coming in. And here we are. Yep. Searching through. So it's a detective checking out a, a house yep. of where evil has been unleashed. Pretty much. And it's got his amazing graphics and amazing yeah. controls from 1992. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, this little ghost woman in the chair, if you touch her, she comes up. You can't kill her. Oh, yeah, her. you can't see her. Look at that and little purple. And she basically murders you. So I'm not going to touch her. Oh, you got to show her murder. We didn't get a murder murder uh, clip. I, I can make a murder compilation yeah, right. at the end if people want to see that. <laughs> that's not hard to do. You don't want to get famous for your murder compilations. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so creepy. Look at her right there. Yeah. So I don't want to take the fireplace poker. I do want the match, though. And the how whole, do you, okay, go ahead. Because the reason is you find so many different things and you don't need them all. But how do you know you don't need them all? Because I have some memories of the game. All right, fine. Fine. If this was my first playthrough, I'd be taking that poker like crazy. Oh, yeah. I'd be... Oh, yeah. Look at her. At least she didn't bother making her eyes completely... Yeah, I mean, look at that ghosts. transparency. That's pretty advanced for the time. That is pretty advanced. That is pretty advanced. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to hear a traumatic story? You had to have a powerful computer to run this, too. Yes, you did. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I love traumatic stories. Okay, so right around the time I was playing this, I was in, I think, in the sixth grade. Uh -huh. Starting a new year of school, which is scary in and of itself, right? Yeah. So we had a class, and they passed out these little sheets of paper saying, like, let's learn something about your classmates. It's like, what's your favorite sport? What's your favorite color? Your uh -huh. favorite cartoon character? What do you do on the weekends? All we this kind it, of we, stuff. I get, I get the idea. Yeah. So did all that, filled it oh, out. There's, a squid, there's an octopus in there. Yeah. Or, I mean, I meant to say jellyfish. Yeah, there's two items you need in there. Looks so. like an alien spaceship had sex with a jellyfish yeah. with a baby in the bathtub. So you spend, you spend too much time in there, he hits you, so I kind of run in and out. Okay. Anyway, I fill it out, because at the time I was playing this game, so I wrote down that I played this game teacher ends up picking some random things from each sheet and starts reading them out like bobby likes to play soccer on the weekend picks you right yeah well picks everybody okay and then and, and then they read mine james likes to play alone while in the dark it's like, no that's not what i said <laughs> so people start laughing and i have to Ooh. eventually try and explain it but it didn't work james is a creepy pale skinned troll boy who has never seen the sun well that he lives is, off his own poop that is true it is an endless loop of nutrition but each time he becomes more evil yeah. All right, so that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was horrible. Yeah. They completely misread it. Yeah. J I was like, for me, it would have been like, Hank, where's a leisure suit Larry 7? Yeah. <laughs> um, drinking makes me happy. Yeah, because, again, I oh, found... Oh, that was the file name. Okay. Yeah, I found yeah. some health in there, yeah. so I'm doing pretty well. So you're... you're exploring now. This guy is looking for... Where are we at in the story, though? He's discovered that the dude... Has okay. unleashed evil. Yes. What is, has he learned anything else? Oh, I like how the pictures have like the faded yeah. wallpaper. <laughs> so right now, and I don't get why this is. I found a heavy statuette, uh -huh. which you are going to basically take that and throw it at a suit of armor. Yeah. Because obviously that's the way to kill it. Wow. And every time you drop something and walk by it, it asks, do you want to pick it back up? Oh, no, I don't want to pick it back up. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah. So you... You were supposed to figure out that the heavy statuette is used to throw at the armor. Yeah, and you can probably see why this took me freaking years to figure yeah, out. Yeah, I'm actually I do remember the heavy statuettes now. Aren't there yeah. a couple other statuettes in the game? Um, not, ah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it makes the same sound as if you punch someone or if you're boxing and hitting of a guy in the face. And it also turns into bubbles. Yeah. Then ask, do you want it again? No, I don't want it. Yeah, a very heavy statuette. Yeah. That's okay. Well, well, this is why when I'm in a dark alley at night, I carry around a heavy statuette with me in case yeah. I am approached by a knight that doesn't move. Exactly. Um, uh oh. We're okay. Oh, all right. No, no problem. Yeah, we're we're good. Sounds gone. Yeah. The reason for that is that it's okay. I we're, wandered it's, it's around bad. aimlessly. No problem. Well, no. This I had to reload a save at this point. So it's this this is kind of stitched together. Of course. Well, yeah. We're not. Yeah. This, we're not testifying before the uh, Supreme Court. We have a couple of playthroughs that are stitched together, yeah. or, or you know whatever that you did. And, you did. and <laughs> I people wanted, understand that. I wanted to show this part because if you accidentally back into the stairs, it makes you walk all the way up and back down. Oh, oh really? <laughs> that's that's 1992 for you. Well, we didn't have the software power to make a guy stop on the stairs. Yeah, it's, it's one or the other. It's like escalators. You don't stand mm. in the middle. You go yeah. to the top, and then you cry it's, until your mom comes. So up frustrating, though. Yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, these games were loaded with frustrating, but this game stood out because it had this this kind of gimmick which mm -hmm. it's not fair to say that but it had this innovation this 3d thing that i'm not sitting here claiming it's the first thing i don't really know but it's awesome i just it really stood out in my brain when i remember mm -hmm. as a kid playing all these games yeah so i think i actually forgot something in here mm -hmm. it's dark so you hold the lantern but you can't hold the lantern and, and search something at the same time so you have to put it on the ground so you can see then you can get the bullets okay so if you did not have the lantern the room would have been dark yes and and the whole time oh, you're using shit. the lantern 
the oil's burning. I see. So you don't want to have it cured. You know, it's got 48 oil in it right now. So you don't oh, want it has, waste it. Has it has a, a, a counter? Yep. A... And you can only see it in the options menu. So. Yeah. Of course. When I was a Cub Scout training to be an Eagle Scout, that's how they taught us. They said, put your lantern down. Always be sure. Always be safe. Mm -hmm. And go to options when in doubt. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, how much hypothermia do I have left? Go to, check your options. <laughs> All right. So he's going downstairs now. Uh, you know, even nowadays, they still haven't figured out how to make a character's foot touch the steps that he's on. Yeah. It still goes down in a straight, linear path. Yeah. I mean, some games do a great job of that now. We're, we are in an advanced era. All right. right. So okay. we're in the kitchen now. A pot of soup. This is where the Downton Abbey staff... Yep. Making Downton Abbey references for all the people <laughs> who are probably fans of video games. All right, so he stole some soup. Yeah, and... I don't know why I remember this, but I have a recollection that somewhere you can find out that it's a soup of human meat or something Ooh. like that. So it's not something you can eat for health. Yeah. Now, there's a woman character, but you, you pick at the beginning. Yeah. Okay, and, it's and not a switch The only and difference between the two characters is the little voice intro, and yeah. she's got these, like, very huge, terrifying polygon red lips. Right. And her genitals yeah, are mean, different than his. Exactly. That, yeah. Because the 3D thing. The polygon count on those are uh, off the charts. Yeah. Boy, it's really hard to find a girl's polygon count, isn't yeah. it? Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> that looks like a Minecraft, that little uh, brown thing. I don't know why. See, it looks, like, it looks like a creeper's brown cousin. Yeah. For some reason, that sounds a little racist. I'm sorry. No. All right, go upstairs now. Well, this is the coal closet. Oh, <laughs> that was a great shot. <laughs> How's he doing? Why is he... Well, I hear the sound, and I know, oh, crap, something's coming. I see. Oh, okay, so there's sort of a... Audio key. He just starts hacking away. Yeah, just stay out <laughs> of here. Comes inside the room. <laughs> <laughs> I wish all fights went like yeah, this. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> okay, he's gone. That was so funny. Okay, so you're searching the, the barrel of Yeah, so it's full water. of water. So oh, I you store your water in the barrel and your oil yeah. on the ground. And I've got a jug, so why not put some water in it? Smart. And now, then you search the coal, there's some goodies in oh, there. Oh, coal. I thought a it was... A box of shoes. Naturally. Yeah. Absolutely. A and pot so of... you open it, and there's a revolver in there. But of course, the, they still give you the empty shoe box. Yeah. Because, you know, nothing more useful. That's okay. But Maybe what if you wanted to put something in it? Why don't, yeah. you, why don't you start being a little more organized? <laughs> yeah. Get, Make a diorama. Get a brother P-Touch. Yeah. You know, label it diorama. <laughs> I would put diarrhea in my diorama yeah. and label it diarrhea diorama. Surprisingly, you don't get good grades for those. Hey. You do if your dad can pay off the school teacher in yeah. diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I'm talking. Call me Zorro. Great name. Yep. Yeah. I, I remember after this that I forgot my box of biscuits. Oh, yeah. That's right. You, you can't... Uh, you might need those to distract the guard yeah. dogs. The, the world's most bland guard dog. Pretty much. Usually so. it's steak. Yeah. So I'm going to eat the biscuits anyway because, you know... Use. There's no mm -hmm. point in not doing it. So my health is yeah. at like 48 or something now. Okay. Which is not bad. That's pretty good for health. Yeah. Yeah. You start at 20? Man, so I'm just trying to... This is all making me have, like, flashbacks to playing games at this time. Because mm -hmm. I would have been about 10-ish or whatever. Yeah. But still, I can't think of any of them. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I do anything that you would have run through DOS right around yeah, the same time. Yeah, DOS and... Yeah. yeah. I mean, I had Nintendo Genesis and all that yeah. stuff. Super Nintendo. Uh, there was a kid that had Sega CD. We had a... Dreamcast, we had all that stuff. Does the term uh, Sound oh. Blaster bring you back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> dude. So X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter, my cousin had it. And he was one of the first games I ever saw where they had human language. Yeah. I was so impressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can't kill those. What? You, no, you can just Start gotta, chopping them with your sword. I know. I spent so much time as a kid just trying to chop those freaking things. That's You can't. I... When I find a spider in my bedroom, I start smacking him with a sword. I just yeah. stand in one place and I swing my yeah. arm around until I hit it. <laughs> and it makes firecrackers. So that, I remember, yeah, Sound Blaster. It was a Sound Blaster card. And um, the uh, one of the guys in the Star Wars game my cousin had was speaking in, uh, English, like with an accent, British yeah. English. I was m completely mesmerized. Mm -hmm. They can do accents. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. I, was like, I was like, games are never going to get better. Yeah. So this is where you want to use the Indian rug thing. Okay. Good thing you stole that. Yep. From an ancient Indian wardrobe ground. All right. All right. So what do you do? Oh, you cover the window. Well, you cover the painting of the wild man with the axe. Why? Is, is he a danger? Well, there's a painting at the other end of an Indian 
who would be continuously shooting at him. <laughs> the arrow. Yeah, I know. I love that. So I only have three shots to hit this, you know, painting at the far end of the hallway because it's going to start shooting how arrows at you, me. How did anybody figure this this shit out? So man. many deaths. You think I'm lined up, right? Oh, uh, no. Wow. You see oh, that? Oh, it actually flies. Yeah. So I adjust a little bit more. Yeah, still you... a little bit off. Only one shot left. Let's see what you do. Nice. Yep. Now, unless the game is designed to just nail it for you on the third shot, but I don't think it is. No, I had, I, I've missed so many times. So you covered a wild man with an axe who is facing opposite and of an, an Indian. An Indian. And you'll see him. There right he there. is. Otherwise, he would be firing arrows at you from the get-go. Oh, I see. So you get killed by him, and you know i got to deal with this threat. Yes. Which is, a, which is an Indian, which perpetuates Indian stereotypes. First of all, that they have devil horns. Yeah. <laughs> which is true. I've met them. Yeah. Now, Joking, all right. Washington Red Devil Horns <laughs> football team. Oh, nice chair. I had one that like that. Mm -hmm. You find a, a book. book. This is just like uh, Skyrim. It's a fake book. <laughs> Can't read it. <laughs> What's inside of it? Uh, you'll see the use for it pretty soon. Okay. All right. So anytime you see a clock, the first you better... thing you have to do, obviously, is you know open push it. it. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, sure. Because you can see a little crack behind it. Yeah. More. Of course, the control sucks. So yeah. I, mean, I love when he pushes. So something when he pushed, you just get close to it, and it's contextual. Like the because yeah. you're close, it knows to make the guy push if, as you press towards the direction. Well, I mean, you can push in the middle of a room, and it just looks like he's walking around pushing air, though. Oh, I see. So, so push is a button you hit, or well, it's in that menu. It's an action that you select. So yeah. you have fight, push, yeah. open, close. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Run like a maniac. Yeah, lean back. Put your hands to your sides. Yeah, he actually bend does, your elbows. He, le he does lean back when yeah. he runs. It's hilarious. Look at him go. What if that guy was running a 5K and he beat you? <laughs> Yo. And he wobbles his head back and forth. <laughs> All right, you're going to call it Indian Killer. Uh, I think I call it something stupid like Art Kills. Art Kills. Yes, it does. Art Kills, farts, lives. Yeah. I didn't say it right. Fortune cookies, you know. Oh, they're, yeah. they're, sometimes they don't get the translation correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, another thing I forgot about this game. Yeah. You probably remember this. I don't think anyone else in the world remembers this crap. I, oh, yeah. yeah. Why'd you back out? Because that room only has a notebook, and if I go in there, a bunch of crap will fly through a window and try and kill me. So oh, we're missing so many good parts. Uh, we, I can I can make a you and your stealthy yep. fetish. All right, so, so what else do you remember? So I, when I played this as a kid, I borrowed a copy from a friend, and the friend had the booklet that goes to it. And every time you launch the game, it would say to play the game, please input the code for number nine thirty eight or three forty two. Uh huh. And you never, you know, without the book. You wouldn't know what the five-digit code... It was like pictures. It was like... What did uh, the code mean? The code would let you play the game. Oh, okay. They were, they were fighting piracy even back then. Wow. So I called the person that I borrowed it from and said, okay, give me six random numbers, six random codes, and I would have to relaunch the game over and over and over and over. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah, it's zombie the, dinner. The, yeah. Yeah, if you don't so wait, put... You, you would have to put that code in over and over and over? Well, no. Every time you launched the game, it would say, please input code 894 yeah. or 235. And you would flip through your book, find out what that code is, put it in, and the game would launch. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't but, play. But you only had the six that you could work yeah, on. Yeah, because he didn't give me the whole book. What so, an asshole. Yeah, well, so, get him on the phone. I want to talk know. to him. So I oftentimes wouldn't even get to play. It would take, you know. Yeah. Siri, call up James's asshole friend. Hey, look at the black and white bubbles. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's uh, cigar smoke. Oh, really? <laughs> so, yeah. So, you, I mean, if I didn't put that soup down, I could have fought them all. But, yeah. You know. Yeah. And that's the way you get rid of smoke yeah. and, and pollution. You just leave the room. So well, that's, yeah. that's, the, that's the answer to global warming. Yep. And the water we, jug. If we leave Earth, it'll all go away. We'll come back and yep. be fine. Start over. <laughs> yeah. Pretty all much. right, so you just poured water onto the ashtray. Which there. you think would make more smoke, but Well, or maybe just a mess. I mean, yeah. These are antiques. You don't want to damage that mm -hmm. finish. You take that to Antiques Roadshow, they're going to be like, what'd you do? Pour some water from a jug in a closet made with with coal that you found a shoebox with a handgun and, and poured it onto the yeah. thing what'd you do there why'd you do that that lower the value <laughs> yeah so okay this is jeremy the guy who hung himself this is a study okay nothing creepy ever happens in an no. old study huh and it's okay. pretty obvious what that's gonna be that's a the calvary saver we found earlier yeah so i tried I using it to put it on the wall but clearly that's not what you want no i was gonna say take the other sword and now, <laughs> you're one now, you're, hand. now your price is deadly <laughs> double well, you, yeah. it did work putting it on the wall. What? Well, but you couldn't use... I mean, the action I used to do it didn't work. I oh, didn't do I drop see. put. Yeah, you had to, you had to go to yeah. the menu. Now, can, who's the hot chick on the wall? Will we get uh, her, uh, her that on the phone? That is my mother. How dare you? Nice. No, nice. No. You're not, your mom has nice skin. Yes. And only one eye, like a flounder. <laughs> Actually, they have two eyes. I know. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, let us know what's your favorite flounder in the comments below. Yeah. 
So we're gonna probably call it quits right here. Yeah. So I'm not quite ready to go down those stairs. Don't okay. want to really do it because I'm missing an item and I know that. You know that. Yep. You, you are uh, the master of the alones in the darks. And this, uh, yeah. Awesome. Hit subscribe, hit like, everybody. Watch the rest of this playthrough. Let us know what other games you want to see us do. This is fun. Mm -hmm. You're bringing me back to my youth. Uh, no. do, do you have a game where uh, a, a eighth grader cries into his bed for 20 minutes every morning? Uh, I will find one. All right, let's play it. Everybody, bye. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye, James. Bye. <laughs> bye.